Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for all your likes, your comments, your shares, your donations, allowing me to read for you personally. I really appreciate that, guys. So let me just ground it really, really quick. Alright guys, this reading is going to be the same spread that I did earlier in regards to the Divine Masculine and what's going on with him. But this time we're going to see what in the karmic set. Because I know everybody likes to know. So let's see where's the karmic at right now in regards to this relationship. Well, my white sage went out. Hold up. Hold up. Probably because I said karmic. Are you kidding me? I said karmic and it went out. Uh uh. No, uh uh, karmic. <laughs> Not today. Not today. There we go. Got a nice little burn going over there, you know. Put a little piece of chicken. <laughs> Make some barbecue. All right, Karmic, what's going on with you? Or what do you think is going on with this relationship? Or what are you hoping to take place in this relationship with you and the Divine Master and Karmic? Where do you see yourself with your relationship with these Divine Masculines? Karmic, oh, you got to hit me in my face. All right, one more. How are we feeling, Karmics? In regards to your relationship with these divine masculines, where's your head at? Okay. So, Carmetas, they have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. It just, she needs to pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. She needs to step back. Maybe she needs to retreat from their connection right now. Oh, light, I don't want you on me. I want you on the table. Okay, so maybe she's retreating, okay? So then the second card is she does have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So she feels romantic towards this masculine. She still has her feelings, you know? And she also has passion for him. So she needs to allow her heart to sing with joy. But then the angels are also telling them, you deserve love, you are lovable. So they're probably telling you to move on and that this is not your person. I don't know. <laughs> Let's find out. What spirit? What are they retreating from? Ooh, they are retreating? Are they retreating from a two of cups? It's time to disconnect from the world? Or are they retreating together from the rest of the world? See how they're walking away from the rest of the world? Are they retreating together from the rest of the world? I don't know. Maybe that's what she wants. She wants to retreat from the rest of the world with the master. All right. She wants to get that master her to a cups. Yes, she does. But you know, he's not taking it right now. So she's feeling a little anxiety about it. And she's upset because he's not taking her to a cups. Alright. Karma, clarify and unsort, please. You can talk to us, Karma. It's just those ladies in here. <laughs> yeah. She said the masculine walked away from this past, but she says she's chasing him. She's not going to let him get away. She's hoping that he comes back. She's hoping that he changes his mind and comes back. Clarify this eight of cups in reverse comic, please. Yep. She knows the masculine put an end to something, and she's just hoping that she can breathe life. You know, back into the situation again. She's being hopeful. Clarify the death card and reverse card. Mm. 
Two of Wands. She doesn't think she has a chance in hell, though. She doesn't think she, this is a possible relationship. She doesn't think the masculine is going to give her another chance. That's what she said. She doesn't think the masculine is going to give her another chance. Let's see what the angels have to say. Actually, you know what? Before I go to the angels, let's just go to my deck. One of my decks, anyway. Bricks and pillows. Because these are just going to be some quick readings. I just want to try and give everybody a reading with their Divine Masculine. And then hopefully it makes sense, you know. Alright, let's see. Alright, Carmen. Is there anything you want to say with Bricks and Pillows? Mm. She says, do you? Because I'm doing me right now. I guess she's saying this to you. She's talking to the... <laughs> The Bob Feminine, she just went she just went straight in on you. But she told the masculine, she said, I need you. She needs the masculine. But she told the divine feminine, she said, Do you? Okay, we are. Trust it. Trust. <laughs> Trust they are. Okay. The karmic is a little confused. She said with this whole situation. She doesn't quite get it because she's still in love with this mask but you know she can't quite shake it what else karmic <laughs> she told the masculine she told the masculine you a fake king she said you ain't no real king she said if you was a real king she said you wouldn't be leaving me you think she's the queen and she probably is in her own right you know oh well, she told the masculine she said fuck it she said, then fuck you too. I guess because she can't get him to change his mind and that he's not offering her this partnership. It's like she loves him, but in a minute she'd be like, I love you, but fuck you too. You know? <laughs> she says this the last few times. She just wants to hold him. She's like, let me just hold you one last time. She said, let me just hold you one last time. You know, because she tries to play with him with the Tanani. She tries to get him that way. That's the sexual magic. I think she probably put something down there. Who knows? Yep. And as soon as I said it, what is this? Dark attachment. Red flags. She says she knows she needs to let it go. She knows she needs to stop playing those games. Ooh. I move my own mat. Yeah, she says she knows she needs to let it go and stop playing games. See? She knows she needs to move on. This karmic knows she needs to move on. Hmm. She said maybe I have another man. Maybe she will move on to her other man, her other friend, her whoever she talks to. Girl, you go right ahead. Talk to your person, girl. Get you a friend. She don't know what to do, guys. She goes back and forth with her feelings. She feels she's going to be in love with this masculine forever. Like, that's just her forever person. Whether they're together or not, she feels like that was her person. You know what, guys? And, and to be quite honest, we probably all have one. Hell. My DM is probably my karmic. <laughs> this is a pain in my ass. A pain in my ass. You hear me? It's almost like I love to hate him. <laughs> and I'll be like, I'll never talk to you again. And the next thing you know, there he is. Yeah. She feels like he will be forever in her mind. Like he's just ingrained in her head. In her psyche. Yep. Yeah. What does the angels think of this? Angels, what do you think of this connection? What do you think the karmic should do? Angels, what do you think the karmic should do? Hmm. I said this karmic needs to ask help from others. This, these comments need to go with them because you know they're sad but other opportunities will come so karmics other opportunities will come so let this man go you know what you had your time with him you probably over him anyway let him go yeah talk to your family and friends because helpful people help people so just reach out get loved on by your family and friends you know that masculine ain't trying to love you you know like hey let him be you know, all right, Carmix and the Cross Watchers. <laughs>
this is your reading guys so this is what's going on with the karmic and how she feels in regard to that divine masculine guys so this is what's going on with some of y'all karmatas <laughs> it's like um spirit and the angels told her that she needs to retreat and that she deserves love because she's not getting it from this divine masculine and how she feels towards it like she still wants to offer this man her two of cups but he he doesn't want it so she gets mad she goes do you she goes i'm a mature woman either that or she's telling the divine feminine to do you either way she's oppressed she's sad she's down because he walked away she's trying to get him to come back he won't he put an end to it she's trying to upright it and then she knows he's just not she wants him to offer a partnership but it doesn't seem that way so she basically told him to do you whatever but then back down here again she loves him but spirit is kind of telling her to move on guys and other opportunities will come her way so this is the karmic reading guys please like share and subscribe thanks for watching bye